million dollar money making Monday and we're making that move right baby that's right right into the green dollar bills the gold and the silver and the precious metals that give you the fire of desire and make your life just a little bit more like the way you want it to be and that's fun ready we're going to make that move We're broadcasting live from Grey Ghost 2, somewhere deep in the San Fernando Valley. The reason why we're doing that, because Dan the Man and I, Dan the Man's over here. Say hi, Dan the Man. Hi, Dan the Man. Yes, he's hanging out with me in Million Dollar Money Making Monday. And the reason why he's hanging out with me is real simple. We got a big event we're going to for LA Fashion Week after the show. We got to head down there and we're going to be talking with all the beautiful models, baby. We're going to be making that move with the models, you know. And when you have to. Make that move right now, baby. When you want the exotic cars, the big house, the models, the models, and the models. What you have to do is you have to have some money, right? You got to make some more money. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. And that's what Million Dollar Money Making Monday is all about. We're talking about money. And we got a really great show lined up for you now. That's right. We got a really good show. A really good show. I feel like Ed Sullivan. A really, really good show. Because we're going to be talking about a lot of real estate. A lot of real estate's in the news today. You know, I haven't been talking too much about the foreclosures and the repos and how the market has changed. But the market has changed. It's a changing real fast. The weather's a changing from a seller's to a buyer's market. And the Fed is dropping the rate. So we're gonna talk about loans. I'm gonna give you guys some inside cues on how you can become free and clear in your property that you own already and you have a loan on that from Bank of America or Chase or whatever, whatever it is. I'm gonna give you some ideas on how you can get that property paid off a little bit faster by lowering your interest rate. Now we're gonna talk about that too. We're gonna to cover that right there. And <clears throat> so we're gonna also talk about cannabis. Yes, the cannabis business is running wild. It's running wild, man. It's wild. It's like the wild stallions, man. Right, man. It is crazy. People are making lots of money, but there's some very important things you need to know about. I'm going to give you some inside secrets because it's really important that you get a grasp on this, man. It's not like going out and just going out in some agricultural area, planting some seeds and selling that stuff off into the market. No, no, no. There's, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And there's a way to make money by not doing too much except investing a little bit. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. And then also uh, on today's Million Dollar Money Making Monday show, we're also going to talk about something else, and that is Lyft. Lyft, L-Y-F-T. Now, everybody's dropped themselves in a Lyft car somewhere around North America. Uh, it's not as big as Uber, but on the 28th of March, it is the 25th today. Count it down. 25, 26, 27, 28. Bam! It goes public for the first time. They're looking to raise $20 billion. It looks like it looks like they're going to surpass that by maybe three or four times. So much interest in the marketplace right now. And you have to go to your stockbroker or your brokerage house or a J.P. Morgan. Uh, they're handling uh, the IPO of Lyft. You got to get involved in this. If you don't, you're going to slap yourself in the face. Boom, boom. You're going to be a shoulda, coulda, woulda, and a if -a, just like you're saying about Facebook and AOL and Microsoft and Apple and uh, Netflix and all these other ones that have gone the way this is going. It is IPO year. There are so many great companies that you are using every day via your smartphone and your apps as the world transitions completely over into the e-commerce new technology and you can get involved with this. You're already using these companies. They're already word of mouth, regular things that everybody in the family knows about and they are going public. Okay, 
A lot of these companies are private that you don't really realize, but they're going public and IPO. So we're going to be, it's IPO year, and this is the first one, the big one, Lyft, going IPO. They say about 62 to $68 a share for a stock. So you drop five grand, you buy, you buy, you buy some cool shares, and watch that thing go up 40, 50, 60% in the beginning. But I'm going to tell you a little secret here about investing. It's real important. I've done this before. And uh, I've made some mistakes and I've done some good things. But uh, I'm going to give you some insight here on how to do IPO investing, okay? So that's what we got to do in covering the show. Saying hi to Alicia Hazel Love. Yeah, making that move right with Mark Hoadley. Yes, the comedian, actor, and soon to be homeowner, Mark Hoadley, baby. And R.J. Johnson. I like R.J.'s name. I don't know. I just love R.J. Johnson's name. He's a longtime loyal fan, listener, and watcher of the Jesse T. Show. And now he's joining us on Million Dollar Money Making Monday. R.J. Johnson. Yeah, is in the house. That's right. And Gwen Leggy's here also saying hi to her. And Dan the Man. Dan the Man is in the house too with me sitting to my right as we are going to go out to a a big event tonight. Fortune O. Keshwukawa Izikichukwaka. Right. <laughs> I can't pronounce this guy's name for the life of me. So, sorry, uh, Fortune. I'm just going to call you Fortune. All right, let's get into it right now. <clears throat> it's going to be a fast, quick show, so you got to listen up. Now, it will go to podcasts later on, so don't worry about it. But this is going to be fast and quick, okay? Because i got to get on the road. In fact, I'm going to be driving while I'm talking at the same time through Southern California. Can you imagine that? Oh, man, Jesse T is in the house and could do, do more than one thing at once. That's right. I used to get this hand going, and you wouldn't see what this hand was doing. And I used to get this hand going, and you wouldn't see what this hand was doing. Then you wouldn't see these, these two hands you see. Then you wouldn't see what the feet were doing. It's like magic, man. It's like magic, right? Yeah, Jesse T can do more than one thing at once. So we're going to start rolling down the road right now. I'm going to get myself situated so I don't get in an automobile accident, which I won't because I'm going to be talking about a lot of this stuff as I drive and drive and watch. Okay, Dan the Man, don't worry. I won't kill you. Sounds good. I won't kill you, Dan the Man. I need Dan the Man with me. I can't do these kind of shows when we're out in the public with the entertainers and the superstars without Dan the Man. Dan the Man with the master plan. That's right. Saying hi to Marcelo Meza on Million Dollar Money Making Monday. Let's talk about loans right now. <clears throat> the most important thing about buying real estate anywhere in this great country we call God Bless America. And thank you. The exoneration of Donald Trump. They had nothing on that guy, and now he's uh, good to go, and he can, do what, he can do the business of the country and make us even greater. And that's all I'm going to say about that, because I do speak a lot of politics a little later on in the week, so we aren't going to touch too much on that. All I can tell you is that, for me, my business has turned around this year, and I do really well under Republican presidents. I, I just always have in my career since, uh, since I voted for Reagan when I first started voting back in the early 1980s. <clears throat> I do real well under Republican presidents. I don't know why that is. There's no great science behind it because I don't want to do bad in a Democratic president. I really don't. And I shift gears as a marketplace, but I, I don't know. Something takes. I don't know. It's, it's weird. But we're doing well. A lot of people are back to work. A lot of people are making more money. A lot of people have got raises on their jobs. A lot of manufacturing coming back. So all those good things are happening in America right now. And especially here in California, there's a lot of jobs in California, too, as well. So some great things are happening there. Well, that means you folks have a lot more money, and you're starting to think about buying a property. And that's a smart thing to do. you got to buy a piece of property because more millionaires in America are may become millionaires by buying property. It's, it's, it's so slanted. It's like 90% of the people that become millionaires in their, in their adult lives get it through property. And I'll give you an example. Angel Perez, uh, two years ago, he was living in his RV. Seriously, guys, he was living in his RV. He came upon me, Jesse T. We had a little bite to eat, and uh, he bought his first house, okay? Bought it under market by about mm, 50000 bucks. Then uh, he did FHA with 3.5% down, and then <clears throat> he moved out. We rented it out. He had a positive cash flow of about three four $400 a month. Even with an FHA loan, can you imagine that? He had a positive cash flow. Yeah, because he, we bought right in, uh, in that respect. Remember, your profit in real estate is made not at sale. It's made at the point of purchase. If you buy right, it doesn't matter what you sell it for. You're still going to make a profit. Okay, so that's where you got to think. You got to twist your thinking around. It's not how much you can sell it for. It's how low you can get it for. 
That's what it's all about, okay? Point of purchase is when you make money in real estate. And also you make money in real estate when you get the right loan for yourself. So we got him a good loan, and then uh, we refied him out, and then he bought another property in Compton, uh, almost $100,000 under market. And he's got a renter in front, he's got a renter over there, he's got the renter in Compton that pays uh, his mortgage of uh, $1,900 a month, and he's got a $100 positive cash flow, and he's got uh, the uh, three dollars $400 positive cash flow coming out of his other property. We just raised the rent, so he's got about $500 a month. He's got $600 a month positive cash flow. He's fixing up the second unit on the property he bought. He's going to rent that for another $1,500 a month, so he's going to have uh, $2,100 a month positive cash flow, and he was living in an RV two years ago. Seriously, guys, I am not kidding you, okay? Angel Perez, living in an RV. Why? It's because he understood what he wanted. That's the most important thing. If you want it, if you can conceive it, and you can believe it, you can achieve it. So if you really want to buy a house, you're making some more money, then we got to get you off into that, and we got to talk about loans, because loans is what it's all about unless you win the California lottery, even though you don't ever want to pay cash for a house. You know why? Because you want to leverage other people's money. It's OPM. They leverage other people's money, set the mortgage payments aside in an account, so you draft it from there, and you always have it. But OPM, even if you bought in cash, okay? But nevertheless, a lot of folks can't buy in cash, especially with these exorbitant prices here in Southern California, all right? So the market has leveled off, though. It's becoming more of a buyer's market. There's key number one for today. The market is changing, and this is when you want to buy. You want to buy and change. You don't want to buy when it's going straight up. You don't want to buy when it's going straight down. You want to buy in the transitions. This is where you make your money, okay? You make your money in transitions when it comes to real estate, all right? Keep that in mind. That's key number one for today. Uh, actually, that's lesson number two, right? Because point of purchase is where you make your money. All right, now, let's talk about the loan aspect. There's lots of loans out there. You've got 3% down loans. You've got 3.5% down loans. You've got 5% down loans. You've got no money down loans. You've got 20% down loans. You've got all kinds of types of loans. You've got fixed loans for 30 years, for 40 years, for 20 years, uh, for 15 years. You have a, a fixed adjustable loans. They're fixed for three years, five years, seven years, and they turn into an adjustable based on uh, uh, indicating leading factor like the LIBOR funds or the ninth uh, district uh, cost of funds uh, that are very steady and very solid, but it gives you a lot of time to refinance. You've got interest rates that are dropping right now, and we're going to talk about that. The interest rates across the country have dropped tremendously in the last 10 to 12 days, and they're going to continue to stay low for the next year, according to the Fed, because Donald Trump has said to the Fed, look, don't raise these interest rates on the backside in the quiet hallways. Donald Trump has expressed to the Fed guys very clearly he doesn't want these rates changed. And not only that, he's threatened, and he, if he does, and I hope he does this, I hope he takes us back on the gold and silver standard and gets us back into proper monetary and currency and gives the, uh, uh, the control of that over the U.S. Treasury. Woodrow Wilson, President Wilson, and J.P. Morgan took it away. They actually hijacked it in the dead of night because there wasn't any communication. People didn't know back in 1913 and 1917. So he, hopefully he'll get it back. So the Fed is like, oh, man, maybe we better start think about uh, looking out right. Now, that's the street side of it. There's a whole financial mathematical side why the Fed is keeping the rates low uh, in, in that respect, inflation and all that. But really the reality is, is people's jobs are at stake. That's what I think. And that's the kind of guy Donald Trump is, man. you got to do what he tells you to do. Otherwise, you know, you're going to get it, man. Hey, it takes a New York gangster to beat the professional politician gangsters. All right. So <clears throat> the rates are low. So you have to ask yourself a question. What do you want to do? in the first purchase or the second purchase of the house that you want to buy. What do you want to accomplish? Do you want it to be your home that you raise your family in, that you live a long time in, 15, 20, 30, 35 years? Or are you looking maybe to move out of California in 10, 15, or 20, or 35 years? What do you want to do? Answer that, that gives you the type of loan you're going to get, and here's why. If you're short-term in California, you don't want a 30-year mortgage. Give yourself a real low, a fixed rate mortgage for five to seven years that's under the market of what the standard fixed rate is for 30 years. And then if things change for you, you can refinance to do a 15 year mortgage. Okay, and you end up having a 20 year mortgage and be able to pay that mortgage off quicker anyway than a 30 year mortgage, all right? So there's one angle. Always remember what you do in terms of getting a loan and what you do in purchasing that property is based on what you want to accomplish in the future. It's long term, it's not short term. 
Real estate and loans are more considered in terms of thinking patterns of long term. So there's a lot of money available in the marketplace. FICO scoring is real important. That's your credit rating. The higher your FICO score, 800 plus, the better kind of loan you get. It's not so much the better kind of interest rate you get, but the less you, that loan costs you in money. Okay, costs you less. Okay, and it's easier to qualify. They don't ask as many questions because you got a good, strong FICO score. Normally, people that have good, strong FICO score pay their bills, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for people that pay their bills. If you have a 580 FICO score on the low end of it, that doesn't mean I can't get you a loan, but it's going to cost you just a little bit more in cost than it will than somebody who has an 800 plus FICO score. All right? So it's going to cost you more money up front, meaning they're going to charge you maybe three points, where somebody with a high FICO score, they're going to cost one point. So one point on a $600,000 loan is six grand. Three points on a $600,000 loan is 18,000. See the difference? So it does behoove you to have a better FICO score. The interest rates are basically going to stay the same. They might change an eighth here or there, but they're basically going to stay the same. 30-year mortgages, 15-year mortgages, they, they, you, they all have those available for people who have low FICO scores. But if the banks, <clears throat> the banks have to be able to sell that loan in the secondary mortgage market. Because most banks today won't keep your loan. The only loans they keep are people that have 20, 30, 40% down. That's the loans they keep to maturity, okay? They can make money on those loans. But for anything less than 20% down, all your major banks sell that off to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or large pension funds or hedge funds. They sell it off into the mortgage market at a discount, gives them more money to sell, to raise uh, more money to lend, okay? That's how they perpetuate their business and that's how they make money. So the chances are, they're going to sell your loan off. So that's why they want you to have a, at least a 640 FICO score because that they can package that up with a whole bunch of other people and sell that off. The lower the FICO score, it's harder for them to sell the loan off. They aren't inclined to want to do the loan. It makes it more difficult to do the loan paperwork-wise, and they drive you insane. So you want to try to strive to keep that FICO score up. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's tough, but it's not impossible. There are private source of funds in the marketplace now that have come to fruition in the last three years, not institutionalized banking. Wells Fargo, Chase, all these banks are called institutionalized depository banks. But private source of funds is uh, a very wealthy entity like a hedge fund lends their money out or a, uh, two or three very wealthy people pool their funds and lend it out through private source of funding. They're more apt to give you a higher interest rate, but the, the, uh, the ability to qualify uh, is lessened. In other words, they look past a lot of people's indiscrepancies. Uh, so, you know, you want to think about that too. There's also hard money. Hard money is hard money. It's hard money. It's high interest rate and it's high in points, but you get your money, it's interest only. <clears throat> so there's a lot of ways to find money in the marketplace today. Interest rates have been dropping. I've been looking, I've been following. It's a good time to buy. The banks want to give you money, okay? And we need those lower interest rates, especially in a place like Southern California because the prices are so high. Can you imagine having high interest rates? When I first got in the business in 1979, 1980, 1978, man, interest rates were pushing 18%. 18% fixed interest under Carter. Finally, when Reaganomics kicked in, it started dropping. But 18%, man, that was very difficult to do a loan. And there weren't all these other creative ways to get financing. The owner had to carry maybe a second, something like that. But it was very, very risky. 18% fixed rate loans. Can you imagine having that today? Ooh, that would be really high. So the interest rates are really low, and that's a godsend. Thank goodness for low interest rates because it still fosters the market. But the market supply is going up, and the demand is going down, okay? Here even in Southern California, we're flattening out. The surplus is growing. That means buyers are becoming more finicky, more picky. That means you as a buyer, you can pick and choose a little bit more than what you had to choose and pick from last year at the same time. Because there's more out there. There's more girls in the dance hall to ask to go dancing. There's more fellas at the dance hall to ask to go do the two-step countryside. Okay, so that's what's happening right now. But the interest rates are still there and they're low. So these are where some of the interest rates are at right now. And I like to go, you might want to write this website down, bankrate.com. Bankrate.com gives you a lot of information about uh, loans and lending, all kinds of loans and lending. I like bankrate.com. I've used them ever since they started as an as informational-based uh, entity. I don't do my loans there. I do my own loans. I'm fortunate that way. You come to me, Jesse T., I'm a one-stop shop. That's right. 
you go to buyjessetea.com or sellerjessetea.com or mrsouljessetea.com or facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero Broker and you want to buy a house or you want to sell a house or you need a refire a loan, I'm a one-stop shop. I can get it all done under one umbrella. That way I know what's going on. I can fix the problems before they become problems that are unfixable. Uh, that's right, my friends. You got to nip it in the bud before it turns into a forest fire. And that's what loans are all about, solutions. Loans are about solving problems. So you got to find a good mortgage person who understands how to do that and who understands how to solve problems, who can stretch that rubber band but not ever break it, put you, and uh, can get that problem solved for you, okay? So nevertheless, so bankrate.com is a good place for you to get a lot of information from and uh, kind of see what's happening across the country. So the fixed rate loans right now for 30 years are coming in an average of 4.1. Now I've seen them down as low as 3.875. So I haven't seen them down too much lower than that. That's for someone that has a medium FICO score of about 650 and up, okay? 4.17 fixed rate interest for 30 years. You see how they came down? I mean, three weeks ago they were pushing, they were pushing five. We we're talking 4.5, 4.625. So, you know, that's a fixed rate loan, all right? The uh, 30 years, and then it's all paid off. 15-year rate loan, a lot of people do that. They can have a little better source of income. They pay off their loan in 15 years, okay? And that's coming in at 3.475. 3.475 is the average rate for a 15-year note, 15-year rate across the country right now today. There are some that lower. I've seen them down at 3.125. I haven't seen them dip down below that much. Um, but uh, for 3.47 is the uh, going rate right now on the average across the country for a 15-year mortgage. I like 15-year mortgages if you can afford it. It's a little bit more money every month, but you pay off your property in less. And if you had one principal payment towards principal reduction at 15 years, you'll turn that 15 years into nine years. You'll pay that baby off very quickly because principal reduction uh, really, really, really allows you to get that loan paid off faster, okay? Uh, by the way, if you add a couple extra payments a year to a 30-year note, you'll get that thing done in 21 years, 17 to 21 years. So there you go, a couple of pieces of information. You can check that out. I'm always in the ballpark when I'm doing the Jesse T Show on Million Dollar Money Making Monday. That's right, we're talking real estate today uh, and loans, and then we're going to talk some cannabis and IPO real quickly here in just a bit. All right, so now, here's a, here's a, I, I like these loans. They come back into the marketplace, but when you do these next type of loans, my friends, you got to get out of these loans before they mature into an adjustable, okay? So you, it's sort of like going to Vegas and throwing the dice down a little bit. You're playing the game out a little bit. You understand? And playing the game out, getting a lower interest rate, and uh, for a shorter period of time on a fixed rate. But then it starts adjusting uh, later on, and then it'll adjust there out. So you want to refinance before then. But what you're doing is you're hedging that you're going to be making more money, that you're going to be able to refinance. You aren't going to have a problem. Okay? So a f uh, these five and one arms. That's what they're called. They're fixed for five years, and then they uh, adjust after five years. Uh, Three point nine two. Uh, 3.9251, five, five and sevens, averaging about 3.9. I've seen these down around 3.5, 3.6.25, uh, somewhere around there. 30-year uh, fixed jumbo, this is, uh, this is when you buy a big expensive house. You know, you're talking about properties that are, are well over $600,000 in terms of the amount of money you're borrowing. The rates are about the same, but because they're called jumbo loans, because they're, they're jumbo, they're like, they're like, Bertha with the big butt, the big butt, ah, ha, ha, that's right, Bobby, Jimmy, and the critters, got the big butt, the big butt, that's what it is, boy, I'll tell you, these loans, these jumbo loans, got the big butt, but, 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 and the butt is a bigger, bigger payment, uh, and uh, in that respect, because, of course, you're borrowing more, but they're running about 4.2 nationwide for a jumbo loan, which isn't bad, man, everything is under five now, it blows my mind, 30-year FHA mortgage rates, um, a lot of times FHA will be a little bit more because they, they, it just depends how much you put down. If you're putting down over 20% FHA, you can get about 3.6, 3.5, 3.625. That's about the going rate. But if you are, if you are putting like 3.5% down, the minimum for FHA purchasing, the rate's going to be bumped up a little bit, and you're also going to have mortgage insurance. So always remember, anything less than 20% down is going to get 0.8%. 0.8% mortgage insurance tagged onto it. That's an extra payment, okay? Because you're a risk, anything less than 20% down, all right? 
But you refine that out of that later on anyway. Uh, you can do a 10-year uh, fixed rate and, and, a, and then it turns into an arm. And that's a pretty darn good loan. I like that loan because it puts you out 10 years. 10 years before you have to really concern yourself. And usually 10 years down the road, you got 10 more years in your profession, on your job. You got 10 more years of equity buildup. You got 10 years to make a decision rather than you make that decision in five years. So these 10 and ones are pretty good. Uh, and then you can uh, you can refinance it into a, a 10 year fixed loan or a 15 year fixed loan. And then you're done in 25 years. Throw a couple more payments in there. You'll be out of this thing in uh, 19, to, 19 to 20 years. Okay. All right. The VA, this is where you can buy with no money down. No money down loans only for veterans, okay? Now, there are no money down loans coming back into the marketplace. Those 80-20 loans that got everybody in trouble in 2008, I don't like them. I never have liked them. I never liked them. I did them, but I got my people out as fast as I could, and nobody ever went to foreclosure on me. I never had a house that I sold or a property I sold to anybody that went into foreclosure. And I've done over 4,000 transactions in my career in 42 years. Okay, so, and the reason why that's happened, um, uh, well, the, uh, let me rephrase that. It, 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 is, it has happened when people do something really stupid, tragic, or something tra tragic happens in their life. But, but the fact of just not being able to pay your, your bills, that's never happened to me with my clientele. I get them out of these, these nefarious type loans as fast as I can. I don't like these loans. I don't like these 80-20 uh, these, uh, split loans. Don't like them. But, you know, they're coming back into the marketplace. Be cautious about it. And if you want more information about that, I'll talk to you the goods and points, good and bad points about that. Uh, we can talk uh, offline, 818-800-1343, or go to our uh, toll-free line, 800-684-8699, or you can win, get me at winwinwininc at yahoo.com, okay? So we covered loans real quick. Cover some interest rates, cover some things to do. Now I want to talk about some real estate. You know, uh, I got, you know, you know, I'm like foreclosure, REO, repo, auction, bankruptcy king. I, I have a, I have a lot of properties that I, uh, that I, that I go through every week looking for the sweetest deals that I can find here in Southern California. I'm looking for those properties that are undervalued, under market for some reason. And right now there's 136 properties on the market in LA County, the lowest one, two bedroom one being priced at two ninety nine and the highest one well I cut my spread off at one million. So I, I like to look in that spread between the lowest and one million because those is kind of where most people will buy something and where investors are looking uh, for that type of property to fix up, flip, uh, fix up and rent, uh, fix up and do a refinance loan at the end of the fix-up time and pull money out so they can continue on leveraging. That's what smart investors do. They, they put as much money down, fix a place up, then pull a, loan, a new loan on it, pull out some of that money, make a little profit, and redo it again. That's how you not get taxed on profit and you increase your, your portfolio. So I found some properties here that I think uh, that I want to talk to you about real quick. I'm going to give you the... I'm going to, I'm going to give you some... Uh, some addresses here real fast. I've got three properties I'm going to cover real quick. I've got a property for sale. It's a, it's a bank-owned REO, and it's in uh, Lancaster, California. It's a uh, three-bedroom, two-bath with a two-car attached garage. Now, you know, I always say two-car attached garage, one-car attached garage are the best properties to buy if you're looking to invest and, and increase the value of the property immediately because you can convert that two-car, one-car attached garage into another bedroom or bathroom and put a carport out front. So now you've, you've made the uh, square footage of the property go up anywhere from 250 to 500 square feet depending on the size of the, the garage and there you have ex you've expanded the value and in the marketplace to somebody who wants to buy it. Now this house is under market at $199,900. $199,900 is a bank repo. This marketplace right here in Lancaster, three bedroom, two baths, 1,500 square foot. This house was built in 86, so it's rather a new house. This marketplace right here, right here, this one right there. Yes, you see it? That one right there, I'm telling you guys, uh, that, that neighborhood right there, that neighborhood right there is worth 265 to 290 right now. Take buy this house if it doesn't have any material damage in, in it, flip it and put 20, 30, 40,000 in your pocket. It's just that simple, man. Bada bing, bada boom. 
baby, we got you covered on million dollar money making Monday. We're talking loans and real estate. Now we're talking some real estate. You want to get in touch with me about that property? I want to sell it to you badly. I do. Give me a call at 800-684-8699 or go to one of our websites at www.buyjesset.com. Hey, man, got to say about hi to our sponsor, Win 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 Loans, Real Estate, and Notary Firm. They've been sponsoring the Jesse T Show for some time. Check them out at facebook.com forward slash uh, Jesse Torero Broker. Yeah, that's my company. My company sponsors me. Ha! Hey, you got to keep the money in the family, right? That's right, baby. All right, let's talk about another one. Let's go to uh, another one in Lancaster, okay? Lancaster, my friends. This one's 265 and change. Four bedroom, three bath, almost 2,000 square feet with a two car attached garage, two story house. I could pop this thing out for about $425,000 right now. That's the way it sits, as long as it's not too damaged inside. All right, well, yeah, I got to go down to Melrose Avenue. I'm cruising through Hollywood on our way to LA Fashion Week at the end of the Jesse T Show. Million dollar money making money. We're going to take a little break, and then Dan the Man and I are going to be out there in a cool place uh, with the stars hobnobbing around with the models because it's LA Fashion Week. We're going to bring you that fun red carpet show to you a little bit after the show here on the Jesse T Show starting around 6 30. But uh, this house here in Lancaster. It's a 2,000 square feet, four bedroom, three baths, 425 to 440. I can get this right now. Flip it and turn it, man. You got it made. That's how it is. That's how it easy is. You know why? Because it's an REO. It's bank owned. All right? It's bank owned. They're sell they don't want it anymore. They want to get rid of it. They got their money already back when they foreclosed. All right? They already took it. They got it back. It's all back. And they're going to get their money when they sell it. They might even make a little profit. There's something called recovery surplus, too, that a lot of people in foreclosure and a lot of people that lose their properties don't know about, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother topic matter to talk about here, uh, and uh, for another show. And uh, we do what's called recovery surplus. We help folks that lost their house regain the money that they are entitled to by law, but there's no law that makes the banks tell you they have it. <laughs> Oh, it's good to be king, the one-eyed king in the land of the blind, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, let's, let's jump around now. I got a couple more, and then I'm going to get to uh, something else I want to talk to. A million dollar money making money. Van Nuys, California, $330,000. Three bedroom, one bath house, about 1,000 square feet with a uh, two car, uh, one car attached garage on it. That means you can increase this square footage probably by... Mm, 350 to 400 square feet. That property goes up to about uh, 1,300 square feet. And at 330, it is a, a bankruptcy sale. They're selling it out of bankruptcy. So they they filed a BK Chapter 7 to forestall the short sale, to forestall the foreclosure, and they're selling it out of bankruptcy. These are great ones to buy. These are great ones to buy. Okay, and uh, this is well under the market. This right now property, right now where it's at, uh, it's right by Van Nuys High School. Right now, this property, that marketplace over there is selling for five ninety to six ten. Okay, this house I could probably liquidate right now with my eyes closed at four twenty. Right now, right now, and they only want three thirty. You need to be buying this and calling me, Jesse T. That's right, I'm telling you. All right, you add that extra bedroom in there, you're you're pushing over six. Let's go to North Hollywood. I got another one in North Hollywood, 449, three bedroom, two baths, 1,400 square feet. This is a probate. That means somebody died, passed away, didn't have a living trust or a will, and the court is selling it, okay? These aren't the best deals in the world, but there are some deals here. All right, check that one out. Give me a call if you want to find out some more information. Let's go across, across the city now. Let's, let's get across the city and let's go into another part of, of L.A. County, okay? Let's go to Torrance, South Bay. Yeah, that's right. 639, three bedroom, one bath, 1,300 square feet. Now, this house is a beautiful house. It's clean. It's an REO. I can't believe these people lost it, man. It's got new everything in it. Two car attached garage. I'll increase this thing by 500 square feet. I got an 1,800 square foot house in Torrance for 639. Nuh uh. Why don't we say like 825? Yeah. Come on, man, you got to give me Jesse T a call. I'm going to set you up right and make you a millionaire, just like I've done for Angel Perez. 
Yeah, this stuff hypes me up. What can I tell you? Because I've done it myself, and I've done it for a lot of people. And anybody who sits on the sidelines and then wants to get splinters in the butt, man, you can never be, a, then you can never say, I should have, could have, and I would have. I don't want you to say that. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. If you can conceive it and dream it, you can achieve it. You can get it if you really want it, and I'll help you get there. West Covina, great neighborhood, brand new house, 2004. Four bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square feet, man. Two car garage out front. Now I got myself a, uh, a 2,500 square foot house, right? 2,500 square foot house, $636,000 for four bedroom, two baths right now. Now I got, uh, let's say I got another bedroom and I got five bedrooms and three bathrooms at 2,500 in West Covina. Are you kidding me? You know how beautiful? That's a 2004 house. My goodness. Why? Because it's REO and it's going to go to auction. You want to get it before it goes to auction because then you have to come up with cash and buy it. You want to get it before it goes to auction. Right before it goes to auction, you want to get it and you can get this one. That's just the asking price. All right? This house right now sitting right now is $800,000. Right now in its condition. It's 850. Right now. That's how low it is. Okay? You see the kind of money you're making? See the kind of money you're letting go? My goodness, people. What is wrong with you? You got to get out there and get it going on. And I'll help you do it, my friends. Been helping a lot of people for a long time. All right, we're done. I, I, could, I could talk about the uh, million five, uh, $1.5 million house in Arcadia selling for 600000 but you don't want to hear about that, do you? Nah, nah, you don't want to hear about that. If you do, give me a call. 818-800-1343 or Larry McCabe and David Smith. Call me at 1-800-684-8699. Saying hi to Pauline Jester. Saying hi to Stancy Nippon. Saying hi to Tracy Elman, my buddy. Saying hi to John Pavlenko. Saying hi to John Guy John M. Tenoro Jr. Saying hi to Marcella Mesa. And saying hi to Dan the Man. Dan the Man. I'm back, all the way back. He's back. He's back, ready for the attack tonight. Yes, we're going to have a good show for you at 6.30, the Jesse T Show, live from the red carpet, LA Fashion Week, 6.30. Right now, though, I've got to talk about two more things, my friends. Lift, 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 lift. It's going IPO the 28th. $62 a share. Lift, lift, lift. $62 a share. That's where you're going. Contact your broker, your stock broker. Go to JP Morgan, who's handling the IPO. Go there, get involved. You'll be slapping yourself and kicking yourself in the rear, Buster Keaton style. You'll be kicking yourself in the rear, Laurel Hardy style. You'll be kicking yourself in the rear, Charlie Chaplin style. If you don't do this, Lyft is the first company that we all know about this year going IPO. They beat Uber, they beat Uber to the punch. You are going to become a multi-millionaire if you just invest in Lyft, the IPO. I'm, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm popping a G. I'm going to buy $1,000 worth of Lyft pre-IPO stock. That stuff's going to go up 50%. Immediately, the minute I get my thousand back, I'm at a profit zone. I'm gonna pull my thousand out and I'm gonna let it ride the rest of it. Just let it ride. I don't care. I don't care if there's one share or a thousand shares. I'm gonna let it ride. I got my money back. And then there's something I need to teach you about. But first, I wanna talk about cannabis. Cannabis is really important because it is the wave of the future, it's gonna be a trillion dollar business. Uh, they're talking about $467 billion within the next five years. Right now, the cannabis business across America is $11.1 .1 billion. There's 227 cannabis companies that are uh, growing, distributing uh, uh, to the medicinal uh, dispensaries across America. All right. I've narrowed it down to one. Through not just my research, but through a couple of organizations that are on the cutting edge of investment. Uh, I've been following them and reading all their information and research reports for a couple of, for a couple of years now, actually. And, uh, you know, 
cannabis is where it's at. If you want 300% profit margins in the money that you invest in something, 800%, 3,000%, 4,000% profit margins, then you got to look at cannabis, okay? That's the second thing. Cannabis is where it's at, all right? So uh, I've, I've narrowed it down to one company. And uh, through the week here, I'm going to tell you that one company to invest in. I will tell you it's a $6 billion company. They're in 70 nations uh, around, and they're, they're ready to go when Congress says all 50 states can be medicinal marijuana, okay? There's 38 states in America right now are medicinal marijuana, California being one of them. But all 50 are about to go. And when that happens, you got to be right there because that over 70% of the population of America want this to happen. Now the big banks want it to happen. Everybody wants it to happen. It's going to happen. And Trump even said, I'm going to let it happen. Okay? John Boehner, the old uh, House, uh, the old Senate uh, chairman who's retired now, he's, he was against it. He sits on the CEO director boardship of a major cannabis company. I'm telling you guys, this is where the money's at. It's where the big money's at. Okay? So I've got one company that I've been researching is to kind of narrow down to. I'm going to tell you about it sometime this week. So you got to stay tuned for the Jesse T Show. Hey man, you only need a $50 investment. <laughs> $50 investment. The more you make, the more you put in, the more you make, obviously. But your risk can be as minimal as 50 bucks. Amazing. You can become so wealthy if you pick the right one. And I believe I got the right one. You do your own homework, you know. I'm not telling you to buy anything. I'm just telling you to look at cannabis because this is where the next multimillionaires are going to come from, the billionaires, okay? All your major companies like Vanguard. Vanguard is one of the biggest annuity firms in the world. They have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars sitting in reserve. Vanguard. I got Vanguard stock, okay? Van, I, right? They're very conservative. They got, they got about $250 million stake in two companies. I mean, companies like this are going into this head first. Why aren't you? Million Dollar Money Making Monday. It's the Jesse T Show. Every Monday we talk about money in all kinds of ways. All right? So if you want to get some more information, www.buyjessett.com. If you want to get uh, your house sold or property sold, www.sellerjessett.com. If you want to find out more about me, Jesse T, www.mrsoldjessett.com. Or you can go to your local post office and just read my poster because I'm the most wanted real estate broker in the land, baby. That's right. And I can help you get it right for you and your family. Seriously. All right. Cannabis, Lyft, IPO. And one last thing, I'm always, going to, I'm always going to preach this. You know it. You know what it is. You've got to get some silver coins. You to, it's only $15 an ounce. You've got to buy some silver every month. Buy, buy 30 bucks worth of silver. Every month, buy $100 worth of silver coins. Okay? I'm telling you guys, 10 years from now, silver is not going to be $15. It's going to be $150. Gold, when I first bought my first ounce of gold, it was $289 in 1976. I was 16 years old. I had my parents buy me one, an ounce of gold. Still got it. Gold's running at 1300 and some odd dollars per ounce now. It's going to go because our economic system on the planet is changing right in front of us. And if you don't see that, then you're not paying attention. It's changing. Okay? The way the world runs itself economically today is not going to be the way the world runs itself economically a few years from now. It's in change. Are you going to be part of it? I don't know. I hope so. The Jesse T Show. Hey, we're going to get out of here right now. That's right. We got to go. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, my planet zone. Yeah. Hey, man, that's what happens. That's what happens when you're making money. You get funny. You have a good time. And I want you to have a good time. Million Dollar Money Making Monday, Jesse T. I'm out of here. The Brown Beauty's off duty. We'll see you in just a little bit at 6.30 live right here. As we're live from the red carpet of LA Fashion Week. With the stars. The cars. The model and the VIP. See ya!